thrombus tumor or vegetation this question is often faced by the echocardiographer while evaluating a mass detected on the heart valves or cardiac chambers usual method is to take it in the clinical context there could also be non infective vegetations of marantic endocarditis which are almost impossible to differentiate from infective vegetations marantic vegetations can be suspected in the presence of small and multiple vegetations changing from one examination to another without associated abscess or wall destruction it may be noted that echocardiography is neither 100% specific nor 100% sensitive for the diagnosis of infective endocarditis vegetations in general are irregular in shape mobile and attached to a wall but there could be vegetations attached to the myocardium in locations of jet lesions tumors of the heart are considered more likely in certain locations like a left atrial myxoma or a ventricular rhabdomyoma in an infant but left atrium is also the commonest site for a large thrombus especially in the presence of mitral stenosis thrombus will not have a stalk unlike a left atrial myxoma which often has a stalk though sessile myxomas are also there thrombus responds to thrombolytic therapy with a significant risk of major embolism in the process but a giant organized thrombus responds poorly to thrombolysis in case of left ventricular mass associated regional or global hypokinesia may favor the diagnosis of thrombus associated systemic lupus erythematosus or anti phospholipid syndrome may also favor the diagnosis of thrombus sometimes computed tomography and magnetic resonance imaging may be useful when echocardiography does not clearly distinguish whether the mass is a tumor or thrombus mri with gadolinium contrast is likely to be more useful though not feasible in those with renal dysfunction mri is considered to be superior to ct in giving anatomic details and does not involve ionizing radiation